The scope of the variables is uh, quite an important uh, subject and uh, it's uh, slightly different than in other languages. So the, the point is, the question is where, uh, when you declare a variable, where can it be seen, where can it be used? Or if you declare the same variable twice with the same name, whether they are the same or one hides the other one or what happens. So let's see a couple of examples to, to see what is going on. I have a script here. Use strict use warnings as usual. And then I declare two variables, f name, first name, which was foo, and l name, which is bar. Normally, any variable declared in a file has is seen in all the file. So this is the, the whole file is the scope of these, these variables. So if I print these variables out, I get foo and bar as I expected. Then here I have a block. This is a block without any if or while or any other statement. It's just a block. And uh, that's the important part of it. So every blo block creates a new scope. Variables that are available outside of the scope are going to be available also inside. So if um, here, if I print out the f name, this f name sees the variable declared outside. So this will print out foo. This l name, as declared outside, will print out bar. But inside the, these blocks, we can also declare variables. So I declare here a new one called dollar $email. I assign a string to it, an email. And if I print out that email address, I get the, the content. That's all right. But what happens with this email after we exit the block? So when the block is done, here, and I put it in, co in a command because it would not run at all, if I was trying to use the email, the dollar email here, that wouldn't work. That would give me a syntax error, basically, because use strict requires that every variable would be declared. But this email is not declared outside the block. The email, the dollar email, is only that only exists within this block. So this is the the block is limiting the scope of this email of this variable. Now that's one thing. So if you have if you have a variable declared within a block. And again, it doesn't matter if it's an if, a while, or whatever. What matters is the curly braces. Outside, it won't be available. Now, here we see another example. We declare dollar $f name. We already had one declared outside, but now we are declaring a new one and assigning a new value. If I'm printing out the $f name here, the dollar $f name, it will print out the new value. This f name is actually, this variable, is a different one from this one. So, sort of hides it. So, from this point until the end of the block, this f name will be visible and not the outside one. So, as you could see, f at the beginning of the block, f name was still foo, but once we declare a new one and assign a new value, it will, get the new va uh, it will have the new value. Once we finish the block, if I print out the f name again, I get back the old value. Because now this variable went out of scope at this point. So again, $f name is what we have declared earlier. And the last example is l name. $l name here we declared it in the file. And inside the block, we assigned to it a new value without declaring it. So this L name corresponds to the one declared here, meaning we are changing the real value. I could print it here inside, that would print out buzz, of course, af after the assignment. But even outside the block, if I once the block finished, even here L name now contains the new value, buzz, because this L name is the same as this one. So this is basically the scoping issue in Perl. We prefer to declare every variable using my, Though there are a couple of other ways to do that, to, to declare variables, but we don't go into that now. Once you declare a variable is my, that would be scoped into the innermost curly braces, pair of curly braces that you put in your code. So even if you have uh, curly braces inside it, the scopes are one in the, in the other. So the innermost curly braces uh, limit the scope the most.